Welcome to Nighter Snuff Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on the Serbian Farm. Okay, so our corn has been fully harvested, as you can see. Well, there's little bits and pieces, but nothing that can't be plowed under. And we currently have $400,000, um, which is a crazy amount. Uh, we sold some of our corn. Uh, let's see. We still have 40, uh, 46,837 liters of corn in our silo, and we're not going to sell that at the moment. Uh, an interesting comment from one of the previous episodes. Uh, Mr. Statman80, I believe the, the commenter's name is, he pointed out, uh, because I am using the more realistic mod, uh, it does make it so I am selling at a medium difficulty as opposed to a hard difficulty. So that means I'm basically making more money because I'm playing on, essentially I'm selling on as if it were medium and not hard uh, due to the more realistic mod. Uh, but the yields I'm getting are as if they were from hard. So just a little point there. Uh, so that's probably the also the other reason why I have $402,000. Anyways. Uh, this guy's just bothering me. I'm just gonna stop him because he doesn't need to do anything right now you can Just turn off and you can just not you and you can just turn off as well. All right So here we are at our With our John Deere 9630 am I gonna sell it? No, I'm not gonna sell it, but I'm gonna pick something up so I mentioned that I would like to get a bigger cultivator uh, because we are doing corn, soybeans, and all that jazz, and our current planter does not cultivate. We need to get a bigger cultivator. So we currently have the Ford six meter disc. We're gonna keep that for the time being. Actually, you know what? Just sell it. I'm probably not gonna use it anymore. Uh, if I do, I can always buy it again. It's only five grand. Um, what we are gonna get is the Lemkin Jaunt Rubin Compactor Build 2010. Yeah, try and say that 10 times fast. Uh, okay, so it requires 360 horsepower to 600 horsepower. So our John Deere has uh, 530 horsepower. So we're good. We're in the nice range. This is the other option, of course, the Keverland uh, TLD 91 at 9 meters. However, this has 12 meters. And it also doesn't require you to, doesn't doesn't require you to go on the three point hitch, which is nice. Uh, those are the options we have available to us that are huge. This one is only six meters, so not gonna get that one. All right, let's pick that up like so. Take a look at it. So this is what the mod looks like. It's a nice looking mod. It folds up nice and small, which is good for us. Let's go ahead and fire up our 9630. Right, it takes a while to fire up. Alright, so let's pick this up and hopefully it picks it up. I'd be annoyed if it didn't. There we go. We're good. So this is a big, big, big cultivator. 12 meters. Oh, there it goes. So this is a 12 meter cultivator. Uh, so we're just gonna let it unfold there. It does take a little bit of while to unfold, but I just wanna show you what it looks like. Now I'll, I'll cultivate this field a little bit. Actually, no, it doesn't make a difference. Let's just go up here and cultivate this field. All right. Uh, let's go on the road here. There we go. Actually, doesn't make a difference because the way I set this up. All right, so I don't know where it's gonna go. So let's just set this. So I've already generated a course, and let's just see where it starts. It should start somewhere around here. Apparently not. Oh, that's why. It's gonna play it like that, eh? All right, there we go. Generate. Uh, let's might as well set it to northeast because we're doing that anyways now. There we go. So we generated a course, so we're just going to have this. I'm not going to hire a worker because I don't want it to... Um, it has a beacon on it too. Look at that. I didn't notice that. And it has a little tire that dangles around. Let's look at, that's a pretty nice little graphic there. Jeez. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that light off. Because that's going to be getting really annoying. 
So, I'm gonna line this up. So that was $70,000. Um, which is a little expensive, but totally worth it. Um, five meter going from, actually our previous seat, our previous cultivator, even though it said it was um, six meters, it actually was nine, which is a bit strange. Is it on field work? Yes. So, let's just take, let's let it do its thing here. It's gonna do a headland around the field first, and then it's gonna do up and down. Apparently it's not gonna unfold for whatever reason, I don't know why. Apparently that doesn't recognize it as a cultivator for whatever reason, so I'm gonna have to unfold it myself, and I'm gonna have to adjust the speed uh, to seven miles an hour because it suggests that in the information, if I look carefully, uh, not that one. It says working speed, working width, uh, speed 7.5 miles an hour. So we're gonna set it to seven miles an hour. All right, so now is it gonna lower it this time? I'm just gonna lower it for him. There you go. No, I don't want you to do that. So let me just show you what it looks like first of all, so you can get an idea. So it has a nice little graphic there. Well, it's not doing what I thought it was gonna do. But it does have a nice little graphic. Um, I wonder why it's not doing it that way. Oh well. Um, but as you can see, it's a good 12 meters wide, which is nice. There you go, you can lift it up, drop it down. And because it's on it's because it's a trail and not on the tree point hitch, uh, it makes it a nice a nice selection. And we can actually put it away really really easily too, so. Alright, so I'm gonna start this course. It should be fine this time. It's not gonna fold it up because it doesn't think it's a cultivator, I think. That's what's going on here. The question is, is it gonna lower it? That's why I wanna know. Couldn't hit that one point. Oh, goodness. All right, so. There. Is it gonna lower it? No, and where are you gonna go? I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna lower it for it. Anyways, I'm gonna have to get this set up and eventually it's gonna do something. At least getting that little point. So this is the funny part about articulated tractors sometimes. Uh, maybe I can get it started on the second point instead of the first point. Goodness me. At least I can see the first two points. Which is good. Uh, how about now? There you go. Finally. Okay, so. After you can see, oh there's the graphic. It's doing a little bit, but not too much. I think it's because I'm just not going quite fast enough, so let me just increase it to 8. Is it going to do it now? There it is. Ah, but it has a graphic that comes on every now and then. It should just stay on all the time. I don't know why it's not, but that's fine. Anyways, that is the first thing I'm going to buy. So there's the graphic. You can see it. It's pretty nice. It's a nice model. That tire shouldn't be... Uh, it does float, actually. Uh, and then when you low, when you raise the cultivator, it does go back to where it's supposed to go. Anyways, so that's the first thing I'm going to buy. I mentioned that in the last episode that I wasn't actually using our field edge container correctly. And I was not, technically. Uh, so in right light of that, I want to rectify that situation. Now, having said that, that means I need a manure or slurry tank transporter. Now I could go for this. It's a nice nice uh, model I guess but I don't want to because it's too expensive. Uh, I don't think there's any other options really. Actually that's not true. We have one other option but we're gonna go ahead and go with this one because I know it works. I've tried it before so we're gonna go ahead and buy that. So let's hop in the Kenworth and drop this off apparently in our bunker. I must have just left it here just because it was out of the way. All right, and let's drop off our trailer uh, right here in the bay. Although I think it's gonna be, oh no, 
Uh, that's another reason why I chose that trailer, because it's a nice size. Alright, so let's go over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, car. Okay, we're good this time. Alright, so let's go pick up our new trailer. So unfortunately, you do just you can just drop cash in this game so easily, so I was at 400 when I started and now we're at 251, so just to give you an idea. Alright, so let's go pick up our new trailer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just double check to make sure uh, the run I have already made uh, using the Crassfort trailer is going to function properly. I have no idea if it will or not, but that's what we're going to find out. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. The only thing that might not work is the um, is the, how close it gets to the tr to the actual slurry tank itself. So we're gonna find that out momentarily. All right. So we have two hundred fifty thousand dollars left. I was and a couple things I was thinking about. Um, but let's deal with this trailer first. All right. So I think. Is this, tra this truck should be fine for it. The one thing I've noticed with some of the Duke's farm Duke farming... Oh, I thought it didn't connect there for a second. One thing I noticed with Duke's... Um, with Duke's models is that... Uh, oh, no, it's fine. Maybe it's... So this is fine. I wasn't sure, because some of them... Maybe it's not his trucks. Maybe it's just the trailers themselves. But sometimes they'll tip on their edge and act really odd. All right, I have no idea how big this is. Did it say how big it was? Uh... No, doesn't say. Hmm. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a supply run, basically. So the way this works, you can actually use this with the more realistic mod, or not the more realistic mod. You can use it with the uh, manure mod. And what you can do is you can hook up a pipe right here and hook it up to here, and then hook it up to one of the other trailers. That does work. Or like, not the, the the other field edge container I have, which is not the craft fort one. But unfortunately, if I did that, it wouldn't work with course play, which is the whole reason why I got the other one and not the craft fort one. I have a feeling my John Deere's stuck somewhere. Anyways, all right. So let's step this guy to a manure transporter, set him on the nearest waypoint, and let's see if it works properly or not. I don't see why it shouldn't. And you're gonna run right into that, aren't you? All right, fine, I'll move this. And I think the other thing we're gonna get is a trailer for this combine head so I can store it safely. But that will be a later date, I think. For now, I'm just gonna leave it on the combine. All right, so let's check this guy. Oh no, he's doing okay. Just seemed like he wasn't doing uh, like he was having some problems, but I guess he's okay, which is good. Okay, so uh, apparently our lizard is done, this VGA, so we're going to change him over to VGA number two, or VGA, which is a bunker number two. Uh, so this is the nice thing about course play, you can just, you know, let him unload on a constant basis, as I've mentioned, I'm sure, many times before. Uh, it is a little finicky setting up the course for a front loader like this, but once you get it done, it's lovely. Alright. Drive course. Perfect. Just gonna watch. Yeah, I should be fine. Let's just gonna watch and make sure. So that's how it works. It's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Alright, so let's just make sure he unloads. I don't know why he wouldn't. For some reason, I can never get the, the very first bunker set up properly. I think it's because you can't back up enough. I don't know. And there we go. Perfect. We don't need our combine at the moment. So it looks like our John Deere is doing his job. The one thing I don't like about that particular cultivator is it doesn't work with course play. Not 100% at least, but a minor quibble. Excellent. Good. He's doing the second pass now. He's missing a little bit, but that's to be expected, basically. You would miss it regardless. Okay, so let's check on our Kenworth. Let's see how he's doing. So he's heading 
over to the slurry tank. They should go fill up. We're gonna make sure. It's a nice looking trailer, actually. Uh, there's another trailer I have, which is, um, it's like the Quaco one I mentioned a while back. I think it's in Tippers. Tippers, Tippers. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, the manure trailer. Uh, it's nice, it holds 54,000 liters, which is a nice capacity, but I don't know if it works properly with um, the other tank. Alright, so this is the moment of truth. Uh, this It should theoretically drive right over to the tank and fill up there. Let's just see. As you can see, it's full. But it's not going to be full for long once we actually finish fertilizing that. Alright, is it going to do it? Yes, there it goes. Perfect. I don't know how how much this holds. I don't know. 32,000 liters maybe? That's my guess. Something in that range. Alright, nope. I need to go back to here. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the trailer probably... I'm going to have to manually unload the manure or the slurry from the tanker truck on the Kenworth to the Craftsfort trailer. I'm sure of that. I don't think I can I don't think I can autom automate that. But that's fine. All right. So there was one other thing I was thinking about getting. What was it? Ah, yes. So, I was thinking about we only have 3 fields right now and I was thinking we should probably expand a little bit. Uh, so I was thinking about 75, 74 and 73. Um, to be the next purchases. So let's go ahead and do that. And 75. That leaves us with $125,000. Hmm, a bit less than, a, not too much, but a little bit. So now we have all those fields over there as well. And what I think I'll do is I think we'll rotate between these two. That's what I think we'll do. So. I found out what these were. I don't know why I didn't realize this before, but they're field markers. So basically, it marks the edge of the field. And it just, uh, you'll, the reason why I realized what they were is because um, my dad lives close to a cemetery, and he actually works for the cemetery, so they actually have gravestone markers like this. And that's how it dawned on me, strangely enough, at least. How is the, is he doing all right? Yeah, it looks like he's doing nicely. Good. Good. All right, so I am going to. What are we going to do next? I was let's uh let's take a let's just sit by the seeds here and uh, think about something here. Um, I noticed that our Ford was having a little bit of difficulty when we were unloading there. And I was thinking we might need another tractor. We might re replace the Ford, actually. The Ford's done us really well um, up until now. But I feel as we get a bigger, as we get this bigger farm rolling, um, this Ford's not going to cut it. And now there's this quarry wagging because the amount of yield we were getting from the corn in in comparison to how much this little quarry wagon can hold is just ridiculous. And now that we have the second field over there, it's not going to make it any better. So we're going to go ahead and sell the Ford. And the quarry wagon. Because we want to upgrade this tractor. So once we upgrade this tractor, uh, we're, looking, we're trying to find another 200 plus horsepower tractor. I don't want to get another fence because we already have two of those. And we have a Kirovitz, and somebody commented that I shouldn't get a Kirovitz, but I did in the end. Um, I had already made the episode where I got the Kirovitz, and they were like, "Don't get a Kirovitz," but it's done, and it's done. It's 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 done its job basically. It's it's uh, it's provided a lots and lots of utility. So, all right, so the Kenworth is there. It's waiting. This is good. All right, so let's just take this to the farm shop and sell it. And then we'll do a little bit of browsing. See what we can purchase. Alright. So I was thinking about getting a Kloss. Uh, perhaps. The case, uh, a couple of the cases I have, one of them is powerful, or two of them are powerful enough, but one of them isn't. Uh, I was thinking maybe a New Holland. Um, but I 
haven't decided yet. Uh, one of the classes that I have is really nice, and I think I might go for that one. But let's get this to the shop first, and then we'll decide then. All right. So let's take this to the shop and sell this. Here we go. Sell that and sell that. So we have $141,000. So let's take a quick peek at what we can buy. We could buy a Schulter. Not going to buy those. Those are all in game ones, regular ones. This is uh, only, I think, 100 horsepower. Not even. 95 km, so just over 100 horsepower. Not powerful enough. This one, only 175, not powerful enough. This one is powerful enough, but don't have enough money for it. The class Axion 850 Hexa Shift, which is 100, 260 horsepower, so that actually could work. Uh, these classes are too expensive. This class would be nice, but it's too expensive as well. No, we're not getting another Fent. Those Fords aren't powerful enough. Uh, this is only 180, I believe, yeah. Not powerful enough. We have 140. We could get, I think we already have a John Deere, so we'll try. These tractors are really nice. And I might, I'm sure I'll get one eventually, but not in the moment. Uh, that John Deere would work, but it's too expensive. And this Massey is only 135 horsepower, so it's not powerful enough either. Then we got the New Holland. This is 196. Uh, that could work. Uh, and this one's 240. I don't know if this one has wither wheels or not. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, we do have enough money for that. Actually, that's 240 for 126, and this one only has 210. Well, that could work too, actually. Either one. So this is a hundred thousand. That's 126. Hmm. I think we're gonna buy the class. I think because it's a really nice model. I know that for a fact, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't have wither wheels. All right, so this is a 260 horsepower, so we'll be able to run just about anything on the farm. So let's go ahead and buy that. Let's take a quick little look at it. Now, it does for whatever reason, it doesn't work with uh, the manual ignition mod. So there you go. It's a nice class. Class Axion, 260 horsepower. A nice, powerful tractor for us. Let's uh, go back. doesn't look too bad there. Let's hop in. Uh, it does have a handbrake, and I believe it's enter to start. I forget. And it makes funny sounds too. Uh, oh, that's the handbrake. So it doesn't have IC apparently. It is a bit of a perky tractor, and it does leave tracks too, which is kind of interesting. But these ones don't look terrible. Um, let me see if I can get it done. Yeah, see? Can you see that? So it leaves like tracks like that, and those ones don't look too bad. They actually look like. They actually look like dirt tracks as opposed to what that trailer used to do. Uh, and it would just would look silly, basically. And that's why I didn't like it. So this tractor is 260 horsepower, so it'll be able to do just about anything. It has, it really moves nicely. I played a little bit with it on another, um, another game, and it moves really nicely. Um, does a lot of little things. So, uh, there's one other thing I wanted to get, and I don't know why I drove away from the shop. Uh, I think it's because I can't afford it. Yeah, that was the reason. Oh man, we can't afford it right now. So, what we'll do is I'll wait for... I'll wait for the... What am I looking for here? Um, ah, see. You gotta keep an eye on these guys. I was gonna say I'll wait for these, these guys to do... Uh, for him to unload this BGA, but... or in this bunker. I don't know why I keep calling it a BGA. It's the biogas plant, but it's not called a BGA. So what I'll do is I'll let this guy go a little bit, and then once we have enough money, I will buy the next thing I want to buy. I guess we could just borrow two. We already borrowed quite a bit already. So we, I haven't paid any, I haven't bought, uh, repaid any of the loan yet. Um, so let's just go ahead and borrow some more money. What the heck? Uh, no, you can stay there. You can stay there. I can just this. He's over here. So the other thing I wanted to pick up was a new gravity wagon. So what happened was the quarry wagon was just not big enough uh, t to give the uh, the class enough of a head start, basically. So 
let's just head back to the shop with this new guy here. Nothing too crazy inside. No levers move or anything like that. But it has a nice sound. It looks nice. Does it have in cap? No. And if you look at the if you look at the top little lights there, the red green lights, I don't know what those do, but I know they change when you have a trailer on. Don't know why. I don't know if it's the load or something like that. Do the pedals move? No. It does have a four-wheel drive apparently. What options do we have? All rad. All right, so we have tour links. Not sure what that means. Oh, that's the window, the back. That should be something else. T, it's already in kilometers an hour. Motor stop is enter. Space is handbrake. U is U. What did U do? Maybe that was eight. Oh. Oh, you can add these little things on the side here. I'm not sure what the use of those is. RPM limiter. Yeah, lots of little things. Alright, so let's get back to the shop. It's a nice peppy tractor, which I like. Alright. Uh, the next thing I wanted to buy was... I feel like I'm just tossing money all over the place. So, I wanted to buy another gravity wagon. So let's go with... Uh, do we have any red tractors? No, this one's a green one. Um, let's just go with green because we have a lot of green already. And green's a nice color. So this is a bigger tipper, I should say. Uh, it holds 23,900 liters, so it says you need a 160 horsepower plus tractor. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we got this other tractor as well, because we wanted to use one of these. And this will also allow us to use stuff like an over overloader like that or an overloader like, where's another good one? The, this is a more realistic one, so this could work with this as well, and it could also work with the Kinsey ones, I believe. They say they need, I think it's a 200 horsepower plus tractor. I imagine it's a bit more than that, but it doesn't really say. No, it doesn't say. All right, so let's take a look at this. Oh, that's nice. Nice JM. So this is actually, strangely enough, Dear Tibers did a little uh, mod spotlight this sp mod spotlight on this not too long ago. So oh, there you go. Nothing too fancy. You can't say much about it, but it is a nice looking wagon. All right, there we go. Perfect. Let's line that up. There we go. Nice looking inside. I think it actually has a tarp you can put over too. If my memory serves. Oh no, maybe it's not this one. I thought that you could. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, so we picked up another core, or another gravity wagon, basically, and it does. This tractor does have plowing spec, as you can just see there. Um, so this should, this actually will unload completely the cloth, which is what it really needs. Because before, uh, if you tried to use the core wagon, it just wouldn't work nicely, uh, basically because it would just Basically, when you have like a high yield crop like corn or wheat or barley, it was going to get bogged down, basically. So, And also, now that we have these fields as well, we'll be able to use this a bit more. It might be running back and forth a lot, but it'll definitely work. So that was the other purchase we wanted to make. Excellent. So let's just stick this in the yard for the time being. Alright, so... Here we go stick this here for the time being and I don't know how to turn off I think it's enter or is it this enter no enter on the keypad let's see what his progress is like not too bad so it's a nice looking model I really I I really like it it does a when the graphic actually works properly I think maybe if I drove him uh, maybe a bit faster let's see let's see if I put it up to nine if it would stay on no, it just seems to be... Oh, that's strange. Hmm. Well, let's stick it back to its appropriate speed, which is seven, seven miles, seven kilometers an hour. Seven miles an hour, which is the suggested speed. Excellent. All right, so let's go take a look at our Kenworth. So why are you not straight? Hmm. Is it like dancing? Is that what's happening here? All right, anyways. So let's see, I think, uh, they're both full, so it's not gonna work. 
Um, so let's just turn this on, and what it'll do is just let a little bit, of, little bit of slurry come out of it. I think you can, yeah, you can. Okay, so let's drive this past. So I just dropped a little tiny bit of the slurry out of this. And what I will do is uh, put this right here. Now, let's see if I can get it a bit closer. So this is the way you're actually supposed to use it. You're supposed to have like a truck come back and forth and supply this with slurry. Nah, is that close enough? I don't, it looks like it's moving, it's weird. Yeah, it definitely is, that's what it is. That's strange. All right, so uh, we have 99%. Uh, so I think it's refill, should refill it. No, it's not close enough. I don't know why, but I'll fix this out off camera, but you should be able to refill it and then unload. No, nope, apparently doesn't want to do that. Let's just see if I can do it myself. I did do it off camera on a different map just to see. Yeah, so there it's refilled and then I should be able to put the slurry back in there. There we go, perfect. So I'll just need to adjust that a little bit. Uh, where is it? Drive on at 100%. There we go, perfect. So. That's what we're going to use to fertilize this field. Uh, the field is not done yet for cultivating it. I thought it might have been so we could start fertilizing, uh, but it's not. Um, we can't even plant, actually, because this planter needs 270 plus horsepower, and all our tractors are 200 and, uh, 260. Would 260 horsepower be able to pull that? I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't know what how much horsepower it actually needs. I want to say it needs for the uh, grant. I think it needs about 300 horsepower, or 350 maybe somewhere in that area. Um, we don't have any tractors that are in that area, that range. If we had the, uh, if I had the Fent, uh, not, Fent Vario 936, I think it's called. Let's just double check. Yeah, uh, this one. This should be. This should be able to pull it. Uh, in the video I watched, they had a John Deere, and I think it was like an 8,000 series, so that's probably that's around 300 horsepower. So something, in the video I watched online, they had something like one of these pulling it. Uh, so that's 395 horsepower. So any tra all the tractors we have other than the John Deere are not going to be powerful enough, unfortunately. Okay, I never actually placed the gas tank, and that's unfortunate, but that's fine. All right, so what I'm going to do is going to end the episode there. We're playing on the Serbian farm. It's 8.25 at night. Uh, so what we'll do is when I, uh, after off screen, I will plant this field and I'll plant that field over there. I'll call, well, that one's already cultivated, so it doesn't make a difference. I'll plant them both and then we'll harvest them on camera. And then I'll probably, I'll try and get rid of my debt off camera a little bit. <laughs> Our debt of $185,000. All right, so my name is Ian Robson. We're playing Farm Simulator 2013 on the Serbian farm, and you guys have yourselves a good day.